hi guys welcome to salesforce troop and in today's video we'll talk about lwc builder so lwc builder is a visual studio code extension built by salesforce that help us to create a component using user interface also while creating the component we can configure a component for lightning app builder it's a pretty cool extension and let's see how it works and how we can install this so let's go to our vs code i have a very brand new project here you can create the project using command palette and you can go and select uh, you can type create uh, project with manifest and that's it and after setting up the project i connected this project to my developer org so it's connected to the org now as i said it's a visual studio extension that lwc builder if I go to the extension side and type LWC Builder, there is no options coming because right now it's not available directly. So what we're going to do is we'll go to Google and type LWC Builder. And we're going to set up this builder using VSI, VSIX file. And if I type LWC Builder on Google, you can see there is a github link 12 per 4 slash lwc builder we'll click on this and this is where the file sits this is the code for lwc builder so what we're gonna do is we'll go to the readme file and here they have mentioned vs code extension that launch sits here and if you want to install the lwc builder we need to download this vsix file so if you click here it will take us to this particular page where the asset sits and now what we have to do is we have to click on this vsix file and zoom a little bit and if we click on this and here you click on download so it will download this file now you can see the file has been downloaded and now we'll go back to our vs code and upload this extension so click on this extension area go to triple dot select start or install from vsxi file if you select here it will ask where your extension sits if you select the extension that you have installed basically or download it and you click on install i already installed it once you click on install it gets installed here and now to verify whether the extension has been installed or not you have to open the command palette you can type command shift p if you are on mac or control shift p if you are on windows and you can type lwc builder and if you get this option it means it has been set up perfectly if you are not able to see this option you might need to restart your vs code and see this and now i click this option and now you can see there is a form coming automatically on my screen and it has a couple of options so let's start filling up this and the first option that i'm getting is the component name so i'll say lwc builder demo so i am giving my component that i want to create is lwc builder demo api version i'll take the 51 exposed is an option that tells to the component whether this component to be exposed to the pages or not so it's always if you are planning to place your component you always need to check this exposed by default it's checked master label is the name that's your component come with on the app builder and the description i'll say this is the component to test lwc builder extension then for as you know while creating the lwc component javascript file is mandatory and js meta xml is mandatory so these two files will always be there while creating but you have an option whether you want the html file or css file or not if you want test file you can select test file if you want svg you can check that we'll take the html file and css file now the next question is where to use this component and most of the time people get confused how to expose my component to a app page to a record page or to a community page so this app builder helps you to create that configuration easily 
So if you want to place your component on community page, check this out. If you want on app page, you can select this. If you want on record page, you can select this. If you want on home page, you can select this. And in app page and record page, the other beauty is they, they help us to understand like whether you want this component on the mobile screen or not, whether you want in the desktop or not. So it will set up our other properties. So let's select app record home and community and after that the next question is do you want any properties to pass from the app builder so here we will say okay we will take our title and for here we'll take only for home page we will pass the title uh, we are giving the property name title and the type of the title is string we will pass the title from the configuration if you want it to be required always you can select this required so let's take an example with required title of the component will pass the title of the component from here and then default value if you want something you can set it here we can say lwc builder demo as the default value and let's add another property we might need another property we'll say the property name is show and again we will use home page for this demo we'll use only the home page then the type is boolean because i just want on click off button to hide and show some property from app builder and let's do hide and show the title and this is the description of our second property if you need any object for the record page you can add it here and now you can see that it already created the files for us javascript file it it has two property title and show and it is appended by the add the rate api because these two property title and show is in the configuration property title is our first property name and the show is the second property name that's why we have this configuration here like globally exposed property then in html by default it gives you the h1 tag we can configure this configuration is already ready as we have selected app page home page record page and community page so this component will target these pages then if you have seen we have selected app page and app page we have selected for both mobile and desktop so the form factor has been selected for type small and type large both similarly for home page and in home page you can see that we have selected the properties uh, title and show that has been configured automatically then the record page now as we have set up the configuration let's click on the create button so now you can see under the lwc folder we got our component ready and if we looked at here by default h1 has some styling then the by default some content has come for html in js whatever the property we have set up in the configuration that is already coming and in the meta.xml all the configuration comes automatically earlier we used to copy paste from somewhere places some other places or we used to type and if we miss some casing it throws an error it, it was pretty challenging that time so now let's go and change our html a little bit and here we'll remove this and create a card quickly i'll say lightning card and we'll give the title to this card 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 will take a title welcome to my lwc builder demo and within the card will place the title that will come from the configuration so we'll say div and within this we'll say title should come here and we want when somebody set the checkbox to false this title should not be visible so we'll use a if true directive and wrap it with the value show and we'll place our title inside this it's a very basic component so by default the card will have this title always within the card we are placing the title that will come from our configuration 
by default we have given the title lwc builder demo and then if we change the value of show then this title will go away if we make it true the title will come back so let's deploy this to our org right click deploy source to org and while deploying it's saying the default value you specified is invalid for the boolean boolean can't be a string so let's by default make it false and deploy it again maybe we forgot some selection while configuring our component but that's all right that's a small change we'll change this to false now our component has deployed successfully i'll go to my org i'm in the sales app and this is the home page let's place our component here i'll edit the page and we'll go to app builder and on the left hand side we'll search for our component that is lwc builder demo and this is the same name that is given in the master label lwc builder demo so that's here and let's drag this component to the right hand side and now you can see that i'll zoom a little bit and now you can see that the configuration the title is coming by default lwc builder demo and this button is false basically the checkbox is false and only the card title is coming but not the title that we are passing from here so let's change the configuration here directly if i click this or make the show as true immediately our lwc builder demo text is coming on the screen and if i uncheck this it will go away so now you see how easily we have set up this component and that's the beauty of our lwc builder and if you want to change tomorrow something title to something else lwc builder i'll say instead of the uh, demo i'll say example and as soon as i click outside you can see immediately the text got changed lwc example and now let's save this out you can place the padding around it all the beautification you can do later on so we'll just save this bit Now it's saved and activate so i'll go back and see okay, to confirm yes save change and now let's go back and see our component is placed and it's looking fine yes our component is on the home page heading is there and this configuration now you have seen how easy it is to create the component with the configuration otherwise to remember these all properties is little tricky and yeah that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video